So, beer review for today. We are drinking this. It's called Crop Collector by Two Chefs Brewing. Um, it's an IPA, 5.5%. Um, it actually says it's a multi-grain IPA on the can. Now, taste the notes say, Our friends at Beer52 in the UK asked us to try our hand at reviving a historical beer style. So we did just that, drawing inspiration from Groot and Cute beers that were popular in Holland in the late Middle Ages because there was taxes on hops. So Groot beers got around the fact that there was a tax on hops because you made it with Groot instead. In classic Toon Chefs style, we went for a completely modern day IPA makeover using a contemporary yeast strain and a potent New World hops in addition to a malt bill consisting of six different types of grain. Wheat, oats, a, uh, and spilt make for a rather than smooth body, while mice, moise, maize, and rye add a spicy, dry, and crispy touch. Two types of hops infuse the beer with vivid flavours and intense aromas of citrus, grapefruit, and orange, leading to a balanced and clean bitter finish. I'm guessing this is going to taste nothing like um, citrus fruits. It's listed pretty much. <laughs> I don't drink Groot. 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 Groot beer. Not Groot. Not I am Groot. But Groot. Groot beer. <laughs> right, so yeah, I don't know if you can see on the can, but the can's like a really cool kind of um, what do you call it? A, a scarecrow, a really cool kind of scarecrow. I like it. I like it. It looks awesome. Dan confused everybody. I don't know. I feel like HCL is exactly what Groot would grow in. Hydrochloric. Are you talking about hydrochloric acid or something else here? Big H, big C, little L. Are we talking hydrochloric acid? Depends on what. Depends on, on what molarity, really. Right, should we get this poured? We'll do some um, beer noise. What I want you to do right now is go grab a beer out of that fridge. You ruined beer ASMR! You ruined beer ASMR, Dan! <laughs> but never mind. We'll go grab a beer out of the fridge. <laughs> she think Groot would grow... Does Groot grow in acid? I don't know. I've got no idea. Right, so super, super clear. Really kind of um, straw-coloured. Foamy. It's not that foamy, is it? Smell-wise, it is citrusy. It is citrusy. I'll give them that. So I like it. I like citrus smells. I like citrus flavours. Will it taste like ass? Will it taste like banana? Let's find out. I'm starting to feel like I can't taste anything. Okay, at the end. There was a little bit of a taste of banana. Oddly, at the end there was banana. Genuinely, there was banana at the end. But the main flavours, there was nothing going on. That's really, really weird. Like, whenever I'm trying beer from Beer 52 at the moment, they taste like they taste like nothing. Citric. It doesn't taste like citric acid. But yeah, the, the beers I've had recently just, just don't, taste like, don't taste like anything. I'm really disappointed with that. Really disappointed. Especially with such a long blurb about all the stuff, uh, Groot beer and this, that and the other, and we're using these flavours. And we're, <laughs> I am Groot. But yeah, nothing to it. It's really dull, really boring. Hmm. Hmm. I think for the dull boringness and the fact that my fans know in the way they can, I'll just put it back at any old random way. I'm going to give this a two. It's going to get a two out of five. So sorry, everybody, and cheers. <laughs>